Hello everybody, this is David and Caleb here, and we just like to spend a few minutes getting everybody on the same page with what's going on at Hall Center Church. As you obviously know, uh, things are really tough right now. Uh, churches across the country, across the world, are experiencing what we are experiencing, not able to meet physically in the same space safely. And that's been really hard for the last 12 to 16 weeks, somewhere in there. I hope that you've heard but if not, this is the first time I'll bring it up. We have had two teams working on allowing the church to meet together again physically and safely. The first team was the HC reopening team, which was um, putting a lot of effort and hours into figuring out how to open up our space again to go uh, to doing church services in-house like normal, like we used to around Christmas time. And the other team was HC Together, which put their efforts and hours into figuring out how to bring the church into smaller home groups so that we can still gather together very safely uh, and be able to provide that community that we're all longing for so deeply. So one of the big challenges for us at Hall Center Church is that we are all about loving God and loving others. And right now, people are kind of split between what appears to be choosing one or the other of those two options. In that some people are very much focused on how are we worshiping God in the worship service. And so some people are very upset with um, the caution that, that we're using or other churches are using. And on the other end of that, we have people that are very sensitive to protecting the people in our community and showing that love to the people who are at risk. And so we have people that are trying to, you know, let's do a service as cautious and safely as possible out of love. And no, we, we just want to serve God with everything and worship Him now. We don't need the restrictions. And I think there's a good principle behind both of these, but it's causing a lot of disunity. A lot of disunity in the church. And at Hollis Center Church, we do not want to compromise on loving God or loving others. We don't want to compromise between having a rich worship experience mm -hmm. and being very sensitive towards the people in our community and loving them. Right. So the way that we believe that we can avoid compromising on either of these two principles is through HC Together. Now, we've divided up the church and you've been placed into Together groups with Christians at Hall Center Church that are in your area. And we believe the best way for us to worship together is through having watch parties or just, you can just call it Sunday together in each other's backyards, garages. This is a way that we can do many of those parts of worship that are difficult to do in a large gathering right now with restrictions, but we can also be very safe. I mean, most of you have probably gone to a birthday party or a barbecue or something in someone's backyard and you just, you stayed, so you stayed apart from each other and you did some social distancing. And we'd like to do that with church. Amen. In the building, it gets messy and it really hampers our worship experience. But in each other's backyards, in small groups, we can have a rich experience and we can still be safe. We can be free and we can be safe. Now at this point, if you consider HCC your home church and have not been contacted about being a part of a together group, what are they supposed to do, David? Yeah, so if you haven't been contacted yet and HCC is your home, uh, you just please send a message to me and we can get you plugged into a together group. Uh, we've noticed that our data is missing bits here and there mm -hmm. and we're working on it. Maybe you, you're new to our church. Maybe you just got lost in the system. We want to get you involved. Absolutely. So some of you might be wondering, how is this actually better than a normal stream at Sunday? Sure, and, and it's a great question. Uh, but one of the things, I'll use this as the example. You've probably uh, found that trying to sing along to me with the four to six of you in your home on Sunday mornings is pretty, awkward and no question no judgment from me i don't sing along to myself on sunday morning believe it or not but when we're together it's to put it plainly better i mean that feeling of being in a group with other believers singing out to our lord and savior encouraging each other in song is way better than us singing to ourselves 
Um, and so we're allowed to do that when we're meeting at each other's homes, especially uh, when we're outside and there's more airflow and more space to social distance and all these things that are hard to get when we're meeting in our auditorium. Uh, a couple other small things is we get to take communion together again, which is beautiful. We get to be in the same space again, actually talking to each other, not over a Zoom call and not in a chat room on Sunday morning. Uh, the list goes on and on. I'm sure you can think of things that even I can't think of in terms of why being able to gather physically just makes church better. So how we're handling this whole scenario we've been dealt is different than a lot of the churches in our area, mm -hmm. but we're in a slightly different situation. Steve talked about that in a different video. And the elders and pastors of Hollis Center Church, we believe that this is what's best for us in providing quality worship, unity, fellowship, everything that we thrive on as a church, we believe is best accomplished through HC together. So we appreciate you guys listening to this. We hope it cleared some things up and got us all on the same page as a church. Uh, if you guys have any questions about HC together, reach out to David. Uh, if you have any questions on how to be a host for HC Together, how to hook up your TV, how to get the stream working, uh, reach out to me. I am available and, and excited to, to help you guys do home church. So we love you guys. We're praying for you. Mm -hmm. And we can't wait in the next couple of weeks to see HC Together really take off as we get to experience church together mm -hmm. once again. See you guys later. <laughs>